There we go. Da, da, da. See, I liked it in the first few hours. Definitely got a little bit worse in that second part um, yesterday. Hang on. Uh, mostly because the mechanics just kind of got a little bit overwhelming. Uh, there you go. I'm just going to get started now. Yeah, the, the mechanics got... Um, they went from, like, varied to just, like... Um, there was too much going on where literally everything was tied to some unique minigame. And it just got a little bit... Um, I don't know, a little bit too much for me. I know Mario and Luigi was kind of going off of that style of thing, but uh, I don't know, something about it. And narratively, uh, I'm getting a little bit sick of the game explaining everything five times. Uh, it's an odd situation where there's a lot of stuff that feels like it's deliberately being obfuscated from the player. Uh, but... Howdy, Sapphire. How's it going, pal? It's like, oh, they want it to be this abstract piece, but you're not, really, you're not really sure what's going on. But in reality, the game is, like, very explicitly explaining almost everything that's going on repeatedly. I'm going to go to Michael's house. So, yeah. So, the narrative is getting a little bit too much. It's I can sort of start to see what people mean when they say pretentious. Because uh, we've talked about this on the other streams, but like pretentious is a word that's very easy to throw around at media that has like a bunch of very weighty ideas that it's not necessarily explicit about. But for me, when I think of like a pretentious piece of art, I think of a piece of art that. C Whoa. Uh, Huh? Yeah, it's a uh, Yeah, it's a it's a uh, Final Fantasy reference. Well, okay. Well, that's that. Uh, let's get some more money out of this tree. I wonder if there's a certain amount, and then the. Yeah, it will presumably die after a certain point, so I'm just going to leave it. Anyway, the thing with pre pre when I think of like a pretentious piece of art, is the music just going to say really weird? Or is it okay now? Alright. When I think of a pretentious piece of art, I think something where the theme is actually kind of obvious, but the it's written in such a way that you get a clear sense that the writer thinks that there's more to the theme than... There kind of is on a surface level. Like for instance, um, I found I found Interstellar a little bit pretentious because I thought Interstellar had very obvious themes um, that, in fact, characters literally say outright to each other in dialogue scenes, um, like it's an anime or something. And Hi. that's sort of something that sometimes bugs me a little bit. Oh. Is Michael home? Anti-Semitic trope? Yeah. Wait, what? What happened? Please, no Michael lives here. Only, oh, huh. you must want the house next door. Yeah, Michael lives there. Oh, sorry. Whoops. That was weird. I've known Michael forever. I swear to God, he always lived in that house. Whoa, dude! Whoa! I need to relax. I'm letting all the paranormal get to me. Do I sound alright, by the way? I don't sound weird and distorted, because sometimes this mic doesn't work quite right. Okay, thank you very much, my friend. 
There we go. Oh, quick reminder, by the way, I have a Discord server. I don't know if it's linked by below, linked below, or if anyone in chat can post it. But uh, wait. Where's Michael Sales then? But yeah, I have a Discord server. People are free to join where you'll get notifications when I do new streams in case you're having that tricky situation where um, you're not getting notified when streams go live. You can do that. Yes. Yeah, there you go. There's a Discord can link. No, wait. You? Yeah, there's a Discord link. Is Michael home? Uh, yeah, but he's sick. I'll let him know you rang the doorbell. Also, quick reminder that uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe to me for free on Twitch Prime. Right. Okay. Cool. Nothing to worry about, see? Stupid panda. He's just sick. Probably. Okay. Oh, hey. Hmm. Okay. Is Michael here? I have a slice of deep dish pizza. Hey, there we go. Probably wasn't really worth it. But whatever. I think that the slice of pizza is actually worth more than $15, but whatever. Which is insane, the inflation in this town. I don't know where, they must be nearby to like, LA or something. Come back tomorrow, okay. Zine's almost ready folks, Zine's almost ready. Uh, okay. So, the moment I started to think that I might truly dislike this game, was there was a... What was it? Oh, was it a, we met like a character shadow being something. Their shadow self, and there was characters who kept explaining it. To Todd's Chick Masculinity, thank you for the subscription, pal. Um, yeah, there was like a, a, a narrative element, let's say, that was explained about five times, and the main character just kept saying, You're not explaining anything! And it got a little bit frustrating. And also, mechanically, I'm just getting a little bit annoyed by how much is going on here. It feels very unfocused. But, no judgments yet. We haven't got through it yet. Maybe there's a grand statement being made. Hey man, I'm looking for this record. You've probably never heard of it, but it's called Mystical Ultima LP Legend. Nah, man. I'm super into obscure music. I make all the choices here for the indie music. Is that the voice they're going with? Uh, let me check. Nah, we don't have it. It's like... Yeah, I, th I think it's like sold out, dude. Damn. Okay, anyway, can you order it? Uh, the manager has to do that. <sighs> but don't you pick the indie music here? Indie music? Was it called indie music in the... Well, yeah, in the 90s it would have been called indie music. You literally just I think it was that. around then that term became popular, right? Hey man, lay off! Look, if you want something good, you can check out the Windtown Music Shop. They have a big selection, and they're usually down with the hip cat bands, you dig? Yeah, okay, cool, thanks. No worries. No worries, bro! I could do a better voice than that. Why didn't they get me to do it? I could have done the record st Actually, wait, hang on a second. I look like that guy. Crap. I don't want to go alone. Hey, dude. Welcome to a record stop, dude. Discounts on music today, bro. Oh, God, I would have been so good in that role. Fuck this game. Hatu Kuma, thank you for the follow, pal. Mwah. 
Now, where is the way to Windtown? I think I need to go out over there. I really need to get a bike. I'll ask Vela to come. Okay. Would have been really awkward if I went to Windtown by myself. Let's go, bro. Hey, Vela. You busy? Hey, what do you want? Hey, what do you want? So, it's a bit complicated. Uh, can you get away from work for a bit? It's like, it's about Sammy and the entities and all that stuff. How long do I need to be away for? Uh, not long. Just need to run to Windtown. So, like, three to four hours tops. Are you serious? You you want me to just walk away from my job for three to four hours? Still City Scott. Thank you for the follow, pal. Mwah. It's, it's important. Uh, look, no one here really needs you to do your job. It'll be fine. I need the money, Alex. Hey, I'll pay you. What do you make an hourly? Minimum wage? I'll give you the 30 bucks. Alex, you don't get it. Do you? You just don't get it, do you? You have no idea what hard work is. Oh. You don't get having a purpose besides your own stupid whims. Do you get how hard ah. it is to go from trying to save the world one afternoon to spending your every waking moment working at a friggin' arcade? One second, you're banishing entities and exploring conspiracies, then BAM! You're stuck in a freaking New Jersey arcade making sure no mall rats are loitering. Matt, self aware, sure. dude. It got my DDR game to be amazing, What's up? but I'm used to honing my skills to something with more. Yeah, I've just started. Purpose. I'm gonna go until I'm only gonna go until like five, and then we can finish getting ready. We've got to go out to dinner tonight, folks. That's right, we've got a social event. One day, Alex, when you finally Rosolan, Rosalyn, Rosolan. Thank you for the follow, pal. Conspiracies and okay, yeah. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see you later. Wait, Alex. I I'm sorry, I shouldn't have snapped like that. No, I get it. That's how you feel about me. Nothing I can do to change it. That was that would have been a really good moment to give Alex something of like a sympathetic performance there, like it's okay, you hate me, nothing I can do to change it. Right, like something like that, a bit more resigned. <laughs> Instead it's like, <laughs> I guess you just don't like me, nothing I can do about that. Alex, it's like, down. yeah. No, it's fine! Oh my... Bag. Keep going. It's totally great, just keep kicking me. Get over yourself, Alex. Could you be any more of an entitled little brat? Last night, an entity was in my house. No one fucking cares, dude. I followed it to an old radio tower, and there I found this. What the hell? Yeah, the entity was in my house. No, not that. I don't care about that. <laughs> that happens all the time. This, this has to be a joke. Are you screwing with me? Where did you get that? Get what? Has he got the LP? I told you it was in the radio tower. But how did it get here? What? I... Look, do us all a favor, and don't try to find that record. Just let it go. But don't you think that this is all connected? Sammy vanishing, me meeting you, Rory, the entity appearing in my house. Sometimes a record is just a record, and an entity just lives in your house. Don't try and connect everything together like there is some giant cosmic look. Don't look for that record. Oh, I'm going to. You really can't stop me. Alex! Ugh, sometimes you just make me want to... Ugh! I... If you find it, just leave me out of it. What? Do you, like, really, really hate this band or something? <sighs> Alex, just get the hell out of here. Sorry. Didn't mean to upset you. Yeah, I, I think the thing is with the writing of Alex is like, they are very effective at making him a very unlikable protagonist. I'm definitely increasingly getting a Scott Pilgrim vibe. Like, you know where Scott is like a dickhead? Really? In oh, a lot Michael, of ways? Dude, glad to see um, you're feeling better. But it's like, Brian Lee O'Malley did, uh, is that his name right? The person who did Scott Pilgrim? Had a really 
cool way of both making Scott clearly unlikable in a lot of ways, like very self, uh, self-important dick, but also like there's still some sympathetic beats to him. I feel like Alex is if you took that and then like went way harder on it, on the notion of making your protagonist very, um, very obnoxious and unlikable. Which I respect as an artistic mean? choice, even if it does make large portions of this game unbearable. Your mom said you'd been under the weather when I stopped by this morning. Oh, yeah. You would actually say that Scott Pilgrim is more of a dick than Alex up to this point, Armus? Remember, it was, uh, it was Alex who was uh, yelling at a dude while he was crying about his sister's suicide, so... Okay, so let's hit up Windtown. While we're there, why don't we stop in and check on Rory? Make sure he doesn't hate you. Uh I almost got defensive. I almost pointed out how Rory endangered our lives with his stupid attention-seeking lie. But I let it go. Oh, that's so good of you. Oh, uh, can we get some claps in the chat? Alex was, re was willing to let it go. At least externally. The fact that Rory was tricked into going to see his the ghost of his, the what he thought was the ghost of his suicide dead sister. Oh, Alex is willing to let that go. Thanks, bud. Ooh. Hello. What's that guy doing to that? Oh wait, hang on a sec. Do I have some level ups in? How are we doing here? Whoa, 356. Hell yeah. 357. We've got three levels up, level ups in us. Oh wait, if we speak to Vela now, could we... Maybe if we speak to Vela while we have Michael, something might happen? Oh, he got his uh, necktie stuck in the mailbox. That's kind of funny. I will also check the camera shop and see if there's any better cameras than the one that Michael currently has. Okay. She won't engage with Michael. Okay. Honestly, pretending that Alex doesn't exist might just be for the best for everyone. So, not the record shop, because we've already got the best record there. So, did it unequip everything on Michael? Wait. Oof, did I, uh... Hmm. Fuck man, it's speed plus nine. Hmm. Possibly. Whoa. That's a good old cowboy hat. Maybe I'll do the cowboy hat. Actually, I'll probably end up giving that to a. Uh, was it Rory? Because Rory had the lowest health? I don't know. Oh, okay. So it is a... So that was a dupe glitch. So I... I so basically what happened there was... Um, it unequipped everyone's stuff and then gave it all to Alex when the party's left. So then I put the golf cap that Michael had on onto Alex. Which then meant when Michael came back, he had all of his stuff back. Um... But now, if I try to put the golf hat on Alex, because I switched hats, it won't let me do it, because technically that second golf hat didn't exist. Um, which is a very interesting turn of events. But yeah. I'm pretty sure that even this stuff is probably uh, 
that kind of thing. HP plus two, defense plus one, or defense plus two, luck plus one. Luck's good. Silver bracelet. Uh, I think silver bracelet's probably fine. What does silver bracelet do? HP? Yeah. And digital camera. All right, so currently we have a digital camera that does what? Plus two to strength. Okay, so remember that. Let us fire a camera. Strength plus three, luck plus five. There you go, that's what we wanted. Alright, so now we can equip that on our body. Good stuff. Just, I'm just going to do one final... Oh, wait, there's another record shop in Windtown that might have a better record for us, so whatever. Let us go. What do you have equipped as your shirt, by the way? Oh, wait. My mistake. Oh, yeah, that, I want to use that because that gives me a PP bonus. Bike helmet's fine. Camo jacket... And the gold bracelet. Okay. Now on to Windtown. Just gonna do one final save. Oh wait, sorry, I'm gonna do level ups. To the mine dungeon. Yeah, I think that's the big difference of Alex, is like by proxy to other characters with Scott Pilgrim, you at least know that there's something likable about him. You know what I mean? Um, because other characters do like Scott, and he has positive encounters with them, whereas it seems like everyone fucking hates Alex. Which again, deliberate choice, that's fine. And on we go. Also, I will say, not a strong sense so far that this is like, a super postmodern RPG. Like, there's very clearly layers of meaning here that they want you to discern and stuff like that. I understand that's a pretty uh, shallow take on what postmodernism is. But you know what I mean? Like, there's this clear sense that. Oh, whoa. Two on a speed bonus there. I don't know what speed really gets us. I'll do a plus one. Like, it's, it doesn't seem to be about stripping away meaning so much. It's like, if you if this did, wasn't con called a postmodern RPG and it was just like a Persona style, Earthbound style thing, then that would make just as much sense to me. They really want us to put points into speed, holy shit. Uh, defense or HP? See, I don't really know how much what defense really helps with, so I guess I'll just go with some HP. I'm gonna try and get some PP because that that uh, LP toss ability is like absurdly overpowered. If anyone saw me use that yesterday, they were just like demolishing entire entire uh, mobs of dudes. Okay, what's this ability? 
sacrifice. I think that's probably a Valor ability. Sounds like a Valor ability. Yeah. Right, so the two is going to go onto PP. And then put some on lock. And then... Hmm, strength? Let's go with strength. See, actually maybe I should focus on PP and Lark and then just like be able to just do these massive combo crits. Okay, I cannot level up yet. And away we go. Oh, I sure do love how it keeps switching the no and the yes in these prompts. Not on a prompt by prompt basis, but you know what I mean. Okay, save there and then we can go to Windtown. I think we can all agree that every character deserves better than Scott Pilgrim in Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> oh wait, hang on, we need to do some XP stuff I think. How do we get to Windtown? Forget. I really, 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 really hate that specific dodge minigame. That, there you go, there's the, the road to win town, my mistake. At least we got some XP out of it. I want to wait until we get other members of the party back before we go grind in the monster dens or whatever. Down this way to go to Windtown. Wait, no? Wait, how do I get to Windtown? I love how all these songs have so, are so well audio leveled out. There aren't some that are obviously way louder than others.
Come on. Alright, so I'm not really sure how to get to Windtown then. Windtown? More like Town. Whoa, but this is a children's stream. Jack, what is, um... What about this game is an epic win? What is an epic fail? And what is an epic all? This whole game is an epic fail. Is there nothing epic win about this game? I like the art style a lot. What do you think of the aesthetics? I like the aesthetic. I guess it reminds me of like what Earthbound would look like if it was like a 3D game. So. If Earthbound was 3D, yeah, I could see that. Yeah. This game's definitely cribbing a lot from Earthbound. Although, I mean, I guess Earthbound, you know kind of chose like it kind of did like you know a flat plane like this but it also did like a lot of isometric stuff mm -hmm. as well so it'd be neat to see a 3d game like this in like the more isometric style mm -hmm. i like the other one look at that Rat A, Rat B, Rat C, and Rat D. What? How do you feel about the fact that there's a different mini game for every single attack in this game? That's a real thing, yeah. Yeah. You well, a bunch of rats get together. But it's not a nice... It's also a not nice term. Really? Yeah. I've never heard that before. Maybe... Maybe I spent too much time. So. Check out my sick beats. I think we all do. I'm pretty sure it's a coin. Uh, I mean, I can call anything fascist if I want. I don't need to be grinding over here when I don't even have my full crew yet. Um, I just want to know how to get to fucking Windtown. That's South Town. Do you guys remember how to get to Windtown? Sorry. LP Toss hits the enemy and the ones right next to it. Does it? Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was just a general AoE on everyone. Okay, thank you very much for that, Laka. I'll uh, keep that in mind. Go to the bus stop. Ah, okay, gotcha. Got to take the bus into Wintown. Okay. Thank you very much for that, folks. I would have been fumbling around for ages otherwise. Well, you have to take the bus, just like an Earth Mound. Cool, dude. Yeah, here you go. Thank you very much for that, folks. The power of having an audience watching your every move. You don't end up spending 30 minutes saying, Where do I go? Oh my god, where do I go? What the fuck? No one told me that. I like how they're just a car lot outside of this town. 
What do you think of that? No, wait. No, it's an AoE and everyone, Lucker. I can't move this, and it's targeting everyone. I think it's just, I, it only hits all of them if I manage to hit all of their little icons here. That's the thing I'm getting. Eighty-three cents. Hell yeah, bro. I think last time I there was one of the little flying icons I, I didn't hear. Okay, so where to first? Want to hit up the record What do you think of Alex? We have time. Go see Rory. Want to hit the, the record place? Do you have time to go see Rory? Uh, I think we should uh, see Rory I first, see Rory. since that's more important. That's more important. Oh, jeez, oh. dude. Jeez, dude. He's doing an anime. Oh, hey, that uh. The van's gone that was there. So is it like the the party members don't even like Alex? For the most part. Michael, I think, was ch Alex's childhood friend, but even he's starting to realize that Alex is a huge dick. So we're going to talk to Rory... F hang on. Chat, should we talk to Rory first, or should we just do the record shop first? Record shop's right here, so maybe I'll... It seems very on brand for Alex to immediately go to his task and not care about his friends. Hey, we're looking for this record. It's called <gasps> It's that guy again. LP Legend. I've got the record jacket, but not the record. Any idea if it's in stock? Mystical Ultima LP what? Legend. That has to be by far one of the greatest records ever recorded. It's otherworldly. What? He had a fucking surfer dude voice, and now he has a nerd voice. It's the same guy. It's just the same model. It's so just you've heard of it? Brother. Nah, man, it's out there. In the ether. He was doing like a, like a, it's like a surfer voice. <laughs> no, it's the same guy. That sounds like no, it's from it's a different same. world. Just by the name alone, I can tell it's amazing. It's like, okay, before he was like, Hey, you want to get this album, my dude? <laughs> Pretty cool album, man. And now he's like, Oh, this is my favorite album. It is so amazing. He just fucking changed. How am I supposed to attach myself emotionally? Wow, it's so postmodern. Can't you, like, order us a copy or something? Yeah, the guy running the shop was a black dude before. So that has changed. I'm guessing this is important. Does it have to be on vinyl? Probably this guy will turn out to be a villain. I don't really care. I suppose I'd prefer it to be more of an authentic sound, you know? Yeah, but only if you're playing from a tube amp. Do you guys think that I should shave my facial hair like that? You have a tube amp, right? I should John Tron it up? If you don't, it's like you're only... I don't think that I could pull off a... Is that a goatee? Jack. Or is it a goatee if it has the moustache part? Hearing half? Okay. Dude, what is it when it. you've got the the mustache part too? Right on. Let me go through the catalog. Oh, I've got a hat. I could I could do a backwards baseball cap. Hang on. Hey there, gamers. Uh, so I just saw this new video. <laughs> just saw this new video by this guy called Jack. Uh, Jack Paint. Jack. Uh, Jack. Jack, uh, Jack ain't, Jack, uh, Jack, ain't. Jack um, Jack Mr. Jack, Mr., uh, Mr., the, uh, the, the, the big, the saints, the, the, uh, attacking Jack and Jack off, Jack, Jack and Jack saint, uh, yeah, so I saw put a new video up, uh, I didn't watch it, anyway, Make sure to like and subscribe, gamers. <laughs> Don't be making fun of my act. <laughs> making fun of my people. Uh, yeah, we don't have it in our catalog. That's just his voice, dude. It's my cult. We have two sister stores that probably will. They're both east of here. If, if they don't have it, I know they'll at least know where to get it. I'm gonna make 
Is there any more of these types of drinks? If there isn't, just find my water, please. A quest for great music is always a worthy one, man. I think you'll find this is worth it in the end. Hmm. Okay, yeah. We'll check it out. So, they're both east of here. Any specific directions? I'm gonna keep going with this character. There's a strip mall east of here. That's the closest one. Apparently, this is a. Uh, After that is northeast a bit. Some kind of video home, game. Though, it's our flagship store, so I doubt you'll miss it. Good luck, guys. So, uh, this looks like some kind of male feminist. Okay, let's go hang out with Rory. Well, if, if it's your strawberry lemonade, I won't take it. Wait, was that American flag upside down? What? Oh. No, it's May just the American flag. Oh I thought it was upside down. It's like, wow. Whoa, <laughs> how controversial. Mm. I love this angle to control oh, the can character. Can you look in the well? Maybe. I think I already fish sunk out of there. Something? No, there's nothing in there. This is, this is not a good angle to control. There you go. Oh, hi. Are you Rory's Oh, my God, man, your eyes! He doesn't get a lot of visitors. You gonna squirt? Got my mayonnaise right here, folks. Why don't you come inside? Oh, you guys. Oh, yeah. you guys. Mom, I'm gonna take them downstairs. You sure you don't want to come in? And oh, have is something she, to oh, eat? Oh, is his mom gonna be like a prostitute because they're Leave poor? Them alone, Ma. I hope so. Wow, Rory, your mom is all legs. <gasps> yes, man. <laughs> Swimming are objects. Shut up. Shut up. What do you guys want? Find out any more information on Semi? Alex has something he wants to say to you. Get it? It's about how women, you know, are objectified. He's actually made 140 videos on Brie Larson, to be clear. Yeah, it's a commentary on women being objectified. Mm -hmm. She might as well just Wait. be dead at this point. Uh, actually, I'm not sure what to say here because Alex is a huge dickhead, right? So it makes sense for him to apologize. But as a character, like, I want him to apologize because I want him to not be a huge dick. But uh, is it more okay. on brand for okay. him to apologize Wait, or refuse? No, here's the thing. He's going to apologize, but he's going to do like a sorry you were offended kind of apology. You think so? I think that's what's going to happen. Okay, let's let's let him try and be good. Oh man, I was out of line the other day. It's in character to not apologize, I'm but scared. let's say that Alex is trying to act against type here. So, I'm hoping you can forgive me and can be. Do you want that strawberry lemonade then, or can I have it? I, I think you're a cool guy, so yeah. Yeah. Whatever, it's okay. I overreacted. Not really. I mean, your sister killed herself, and you were seeing like her, your shadow being talking about it, and kind of like, upsetting time. Also, I was wrong to lie to you guys. You had a valid point. I guess so not. we're trying to track. Wait. Down this so did Rory knowingly lie, or did he just? Because I think he th he thought that he saw his sister in the shadow being, right? I thought that was the whole thing. So he didn't, it wasn't like he lied, he just didn't know the truth, I guess. You 
to come with us. Although, is it a liar when you say something that it turns out isn't true? Even if you don't know it isn't true? Yeah, sure. Um... I mean, that's like, kind of like a thing, just in general. Is, um... Is it... Is it considered lying if you, like, believe something, maybe based off of not having all the facts? Hmm. I gotta find some Pokemon cards. At some point. Sorry, Pocket Monster cards. <laughs> what do they call them again? Pocket Monster cards. I mean, anything can happen to Clementine Productions, it's just... The game is silly and funny and abstract because it um, is subverting our expectations. It's just horribly... Well... So it's deliberately trying to pull you out of the moment whenever it can, which is very Brechtian, um, as, has, as was pointed out in the last stream. Oh, new things. But I don't know what we don't already have, what we do and don't already have. So it says owned one. So you see. Ah, oh, okay, gotcha. Now you know. So this this gives you extra PP, but takes away the defense, mm -hmm. the luck boot, boot, luck buff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You think you're. Good. I'll keep what I have. It's deliberately trying to pull you out of the moment whenever it can. Uh, I'm being pulled out of the moment right now because it's not letting me fucking leave this store. Okay. There we go. Which I guess is a postmodern-y thing. Because... Yeah, he's talking about his sister's suicide and shit, and then it's like, haha, also my mum is actually a leg. Uh, you know. Lying implies malicious intent, but I don't think it inherently means malicious intent. Okay, well, I don't really know what to do now, because we have, in fact, gone to the Wintown record stop. Unless there's something else in that store. Yeah, no. Hmm. What was a uh, bus stop again? I guess so. But that wasn't the the the, the hint was uh, see Rory and visit the Wintown record stop. So I assumed that would be another thing, but I guess not. A lot of the characters have a weird undulation thing that they just do. There's no such thing as a white lie. Uh oh, what? It's like you consider lying inherently harmful. That can make sense. Oh, that was odd. Uh, I can probably do a couple, do a few level ups. Let's go to the strip mall. Hmm. Inherent good and inherent bad. So, Rory, mm, philosophy. Tell us more about you. It's like you know um, a shadow born from your mind. That, mm, it's a god and an entity in your mind. Mm. Hi, I'm Rory. I'm a scene kid with a dead sister. Uh, that's it. Wow. Dark, dude. Do you, like, have a job or any hobbies? Yeah, I work at this shitty video store, Planet VHS. 
We can get you any movie 6 to 12 months after its continental US release on VHS. So basically, we suck. Any plans for college or anything? I don't really know if college is in the cards for me. So, like, for instance, Ian Windsor, um, here's, here's something. So, for instance, say that, um, I don't know, uh, hmm, I'm trying to think of a good example here, as far as, like, a lie that would genuinely be harmless. Why do you say that? Well, after my sister died, my parents aren't really themselves. They've had a rocky relationship as it is, so I think if I left, everything would fall apart. But that's not your job. You don't have to keep your parents together. I don't know if that's true. I feel like I have a responsibility to them. Yeah, I guess that's one thing. Like the idea of how about a lie when you're where you're protecting yourself, mm. right? So, for instance, say yeah, like you're trans, or like um, some Nazi comes up to you and says, "Are you a Jew?" Right? Is it inherently bad for you to say you're not a Jew? Do either of you have jobs? I know that we're talking in extremes here, so I'm not trying to like go nothing. after you. I'm just very curious of your perspective because I I'm definitely of the mind that. There are um, exclusions you can make to where lying isn't an inherently bad thing. Now my dad pays me to proofread the things he writes. Oh yeah, and Alex is unemployed. I might be able to get you a job at Planet VHS. Oh yeah. I, I definitely no. respect it as a philosophical position. I just I would say that. In practical reality, there are a lot of times where you might need to lie for your own s survival, I guess, and I would consider that a moral, morally good action to protect yourself, usually, probably. It's tough. I'm just I guess it's kind of like um, assault, right? Like, do you consider assaulting someone a morally bad thing? And generally speaking, you would say yes, but obviously, say someone broke into your house, and then you had to assault them to get them out of your house. You know, it's one of those things. Didn't you tell me on the way that your mom lost her job and you needed to help her out? I think she was just saying that, but I know she wouldn't want to push me into anything I'm not ready for. Did you go to college? Yeah, I graduated earlier this year. I have my BLA. Oh, so let me know if you do want that job at Planet VHS. <laughs> My manager has his BLA, and the night shift manager has his DMA in dance. <laughs> I'll find something. I just need to hold out a bit longer till it feels right. When I moved from Frankton to Jet Set City to start college, I spent the whole bus ride mentally reviewing my 19 years and realizing that almost everything that had happened to me was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> listen, no... Listen, game developer, no me RL bait, okay? This is obviously just made so it can be screen caps and put on me RL. I'm not exaggerating. I, I didn't want to remember any of it. It was so pathetic. The more I thought about my life up to then, the more I hated myself. It wasn't that I hadn't been happy or hadn't enjoyed my high school experience. I could recall a handful of really great times, but if you added them up, those shameful, painful memories far outnumbered the others. When I thought of how I've been living, how I've been approaching life, it was all so trite, so miserably pointless. When I made it to college, I knew this was a time for reinvention. All I needed to do was imagine the Alex I wanted to be and work towards it. Forget the old Alex and be someone worth being. Now that I'm here, floating with you, I don't know if I was approaching life right. Did any of it really matter? Floating with you? Is he talking about a big poo? So anyway, I got to college. Made friends with people I never thought I'd hang out with. Got interested in poetry. Started listening to... Yeah, because here's the thing as well about... Um... 
Here's the thing as well about the mouth moving is like they would have to program that in so that just seems like so much extra effort completely for no reason like you don't even if it's an inner monologue you don't even need Alex's talk sprite to be there you could just literally have it be a text box if it's just Alex speaking a lot of guitar like it, thinking to himself right. sorry I got interested I was in with the hip crowd but being hip doesn't mean you have direction that isn't to say some of the kids I met weren't going places, and I hear many of them did. I don't think Alex it's looks like me. Clinton Reviews. It was too selfish. Too unoriginal. Too much of a parasite feeding off Different hairstyles. Cool. Yeah, like in a bit, I mean, in anything, really. I think in JRPGs it's that way too. When a character is just thinking to themselves, there won't be a talk sprite because they're not talking. So... Oh, shit. My mistake. Michael, are you going to college? <laughs> yeah, I am. You don't sound so excited. It's just scary. Not the leaving home part. I don't care about that. But you have four years to ensure that you have a future. It's a lot of pressure, isn't it? When my parents were kids, you didn't have to go to college. I bet in ten years, you'll need your master's to even be considered for a job. Ha. I'm also scared of the debt, you know. Did your parents set up a college fund? Nah, they didn't really have that kind of money. They did good for a while, but my dad's work hasn't been going so well. Do you know what you want to go for? My mom said that when she was a kid, mind you, I don't know if women were allowed in college back then, you just went for whatever you wanted, and the degree meant you were educated and had the qualities of a working professional. But now, pick a major, get good at it, stick to it, and maybe you'll get a job. It's 1999, and the economy is terrible compared to my parents' day. Yeah, I think it's an it's a very interesting conversation about like the the nature of like inherent morality and stuff like that, and especially when it comes to lying, which is kind of a tricky subject but maybe twitch chat isn't the best place for it but um yeah it's a neat thing to think about imagine what it'll be what like that smell for kids kids if we don't get our shit together what's that smell why you got the stove on okay i guess you're having that strawberry lemonade then Yeah, it's scary, but you need to face that reality eventually. What are you leaning towards? Computers, probably. Maybe Game's okay computer today. Games. Alex was uh, monologuing, and then he'd hang out with Michael a little bit, and then he started freaking out at um, Vela, and Vela told him to fuck off. So then we went to hang out with Rory instead, and we're looking for a record. I can't imagine they'll have a major for it, but I'm good at math, and I hear making games is all math. Hey, so what exactly when Japanese developers do make games, do they program in it's Japanese? Like, I remember the shadow things, right? Huh. I have no idea. Yeah. Hmm? I wonder if they have the to translate features. programming. Like yeah, the shadow, this, so what, the shadow the entities. The so basically, you came home from college. And then there's was a uh, you went to this a cat stole a letter from you so you went to this factory. They don't. All programming. Is um. And then there was a lady there. And Alex immediately fell in love with her or some shit. Um. And then she got kidnapped by the entities. And then since then there's been a bunch of weird shit going on with the entities like haunting you and stuff. And now there's this person, Rory, who seems to have a special connection to the entities because, like, his sister killed herself. And uh, it's like the entity was drawing him in because of that. And Vela has some weird connection to the entity realm, too. How do you know this? Michael doesn't really know anything, but he's a bro, so he gets to hang out, too. Oh, yeah. I've tried making games before. We have to help Michael to out because um, I just related to him because of his five head. It's pretty fun. Not great at making graphics, but Aww. I'm getting there. Look at that fucking hairline on Michael. It's like uh, it's awesome. You'll have to show us something name? sometime. What's her name from Persona? Haru. Hmm. It's Haru. She has the yeah, five head as well. Maybe. 
Yeah. Most of them. Haru in Persona 5. Hot take. Haru from Persona 5 has a five head. What? Do you, like, learn from a book? Yeah, I got this 5,000 I mean, page book on game all programming. Anime characters it came with a CD. Have a five Every day I try and on. use some of the examples. It's just hidden behind hair. Hmm. Just I want to get to the point where I don't need to check the book bangs. if I want to add features. Wait a second, were there scene kids in the 90s? That was like a more of a mid-90s thing. Yeah, this guy said he was a scene kid. Uh, it's like, if you wanted to make it authentic, he should just be dressed in black. He so should be a goth. Be kinda, yeah, he'd yeah be goth classic. would make sense. Or like a grunger, like a, he's really into oh, Kurt Cobain. <laughs> If yeah, to me it almost feels as if like the game was made in a non-specific time, and then suddenly at the end they decided, oh, let's set this in the '90s. I mean, I know that probably isn't, almost certainly isn't the case because of all the little name drops for Y, you know, Y2K and whatever. But like, this doesn't feel like it's set in the '90s. It feel it just feels like it's that Earthbound thing where it's a nondescript, like somewhat Americana thing going on. I mean, I also, uh, now I can show you what the level up mechanics are like. So basically, you bank your experience points, and then you go to this guy in your mind in the in the save mind dungeon place, and then you level up your friends this way. Uh, you just keep hitting this, and then every time they level up after you finish banking stuff, uh, is that it? And then for your own for you for yourself, you go in here. In your mind dungeon and then you go down these stairs and then you spend a hundred experience and then you can go down these stairs and then go to this new floor where you get to pick where your stat boosts are going to be assigned and then you so for instance say I want more PP like here I then walk through this door and now I have plus two PP so why would, why would you choose other well, no, because I get four stat boosts, so I pick which. So, for instance, what do I want to go up by one? Uh, uh, I guess I want luck to go up by one, so I'll go through the luck door. Okay. Yeah. I get it. What do you think of that system? Um. Mm -hmm. Like, or even like a mementos thing where it's just like a never ending dungeon. I yeah. just think that would be cool, but it just seems like this specifically, because I thought it was just going to be like a mementos. Yeah, dungeon. that's why I thought too. When he announced, when, when it said like, you can access your mind dungeon from any save point, it's like, oh, that, that, that is going to be like a mementos thing where I can go there if I want to just grind. Mm -hmm. But nope, it's just a weird place to level so up. So I think it, I think the thing is, is it's like, if your area could just be replaced with like a menu like this, like what you're doing right now, mm -hmm. maybe you don't need that area. I mean, maybe they thought had something cooler in mind initially, but, you know. It's a I spooky so ghost! I did not know you were here. A boo! You could have knocked, but I was in the back room Oh, are you actually going to fight? I don't As think you so. Can see, no one visits here. No one except the dungeon I, I master. And uh, he hasn't visited in almost a year. Excuse me, but for Can I get um a water then? Floor, if I'm not getting that. This is the library. I, I think I left my water in the bedroom maybe. These old books. Only the dungeon master is allowed to read them anyway. You're not the dungeon master, are you? No, didn't think so. I guess I won't have the strawberry lemonade. You're like, where's my water? Aw, like, oh, thank you, sweetie. Wait, wait, you have nails. Oh, that's right. Okay. I chew up my nails. I have a <laughs> chewing thing that I've had for decades, and at this point, it's not going to stop. I'm going to chew my nails until I die. I've accepted it. People tell me don't chew your nails. I'm like, whatever, dude. It's been twenty years. <laughs> this game is 
I try to consciously stop myself chewing my nose, but it doesn't work. I hate to be rude, but I'll need you to remove your glasses. There are things in this room that aren't meant for your eyes. Only Thank the you. dungeon master is allowed to see. You understand, right? Good. Anyway, why have you come? What can I do for you? Oh, Crow told you to visit me? Oh, <laughs> well, it's nice to have the company. Usually, Crow sends people away. That's his job, you know. Outsiders aren't allowed in the Dungeon of the Mind. Maybe... See, here's the thing, Goblin Plus. I could do that, right? I could absolutely do that. I would wear baseball gloves all the time. What is that? Is that on the screen? What is that? This. You, you, do you guys see that? What the fuck is that? Hang on. What? Oh, it's just oh, it's just the light reflecting. It's this. It's from it's lens flare from the light thing behind me. There we go. What was I saying? Yeah, I could wear baseball gloves all the time, and I would never chew my nails, and I would go weeks and weeks and weeks with just wearing those gloves, and I would take my gloves off to wash my hands, and then I would go. Ah, oh, and then the my teeth, and then it's done again, and then I've got no nails again. It's what? Oh, that's the thing about biting your nails. It only takes a single slip up, and then it's like the whole thing was pointless. I don't know what that means. Have I met you somewhere before? All right, here's the thing, Maple Hoof. I would do that because I have heard about the like um, the nail polish you can put on that like tastes really awful. I know that if I were to get that, I would end up getting a taste for it. And I'd be like, you know what, I actually don't mind the taste of this. And then I would start actually enjoying biting my nails more because I would get a taste for the weird, gross nail polish. As you may know, in this dungeon of the mind, memory is... And if, it, and if I put something answer, actually toxic... There are things we can remember and things we cannot remember. Then that would be even worse because then I would not only be... Get continuing my bad habit of biting my nails, I would now also be poisoning myself. You seem to be among the things I cannot. Please forgive me, but I want to have met you before. Of course, what I want doesn't matter. Only what the dungeon master wants matters. Okay, I've spoken enough. Emotional. Sunflower seeds? Hmm. Yeah, like, I don't even know. I guess it's just a self-soothing thing, right? I don't know what the appeal is of me biting my nails. I just like doing it. I like the... I guess the feel is nice? I don't really know. Alright. More PP. Pee -pee. Uh, more strength, and I guess more HP. I want my PP, I want my PP to be so huge. I want the biggest PP anyone's ever had in this game. made some noodles I might just have some have well I haven't eaten anything today but at this point we're gonna be eating in a couple hours so. oh, they, well I'm not gonna say where we're going because I don't want um, a very excited fan to come to visit us but where we're <laughs> don't going, dox me where we're going uh, has a fair to be more that's cool I will say I didn't like the what's the net the things it was like the rap things. Yeah, I didn't like it very much. It was too thick, too thick, too bready for me.
and we'll go luck. Okay, how we go? A repus. Anyone here had a repos? A repus, whatever it's called. And out we go. Just curious. They don't have any skill. Oh, sacrifice is a Rory skill. Give up Rory's remaining HP to revive a fallen ally. Whoa. Hmm. Rory seems kind of useless. So he has like a really high PP cost ability that is basically just a revive. Like, I have revives. But whatever. EP strike. Use PP to generate, to generate strike with devastating force. Ooh. So it sounds like that is like a special heavy attack. So definitely a good thing to be putting points in PP. Uh, alcoholism. The luck stat's broken. Maybe I'll pump some stuff in luck then. I remember sitting at the burger joint wondering why it wasn't more like Michael or Rory. I don't know why you're this way, Alex. Michael, concerned about the future. Rory, someone who had something to aspire to. Howdy, Wax Mosh. Mosh. At the time, I told myself I had a purpose. I was looking for Semi Park. Howdy, Toru Space Prince. I was going to find her, save her. I don't know. Something was going to happen. Somehow there would be meaning in all this craziness. So, how about that economy? Yeah. Really seems like the world is going to shit, doesn't it? First Alex loses Sammy, I lose Terry, the economy is tanking. Future looks bleak in 1999, boys. Must be Y2K. What's Y2K? It's some computer virus or something that's going to destroy modern society at midnight on New Year's. Is this 1999? Because I thought that, like... Everyone was talking about Y2K in 1999. Not exactly. Computers only count the last two digits of a number, so they don't know the difference between 2000 or 1900. This will cause various problems with dates and finances, and will probably cause a big mess. People all over the world are panicking. When 2000 rolls around, all the computers will I was six years old during Y2K. Something. I'm sorry if that makes you feel old. Like, is this really going to happen? Probably. I don't know. I think I'd kind of like... Yeah, especially happen. someone who just got back from college. Definitely what, they weren't talking about Y2K out. in college? What's wrong with you guys? That would cause serious problems. This is crazy. How have I never heard of this before? Probably because you live under a posh little rock and only hear about the things your mommy wants you to hear about. Screw you, man. Maybe that's why everything is going to shit. Maybe the world will end in the year 2000. We'll all die, and our souls will float up into the soul space. Spoilers. Could you imagine? I could, but I didn't like it. Do you really think Y2K could You have know so why the monologues are so experience? awful? Is because a lot of the time it makes it feel as if there's two Alexes in a conversation, and I legitimately cannot think of anything more terrifying than the idea of there being two Alexes in one conversation. No, I mean, that's a computer problem, right? But then again, the world does feel like it's falling apart. All that. What wars? 
Oh, there are a few, like the insurgency in Agadan, Nepalese Civil War, Republic of the Congo Civil War, Kosovo War, Eritrean Ethiopian War, Sierra Leone Civil War, and the war for our minds fought every day in the newspapers. I had no idea there were so many wars happening. What are they fighting over? I love Google. Probably over the right to have more wars. Isn't that what war is usually about? War for war. Jeez, oh, I used to read yeah, the in college, but they just fight so they can fight, dude. They're just fighting so they can fight. Okay, enough of this depressing chatter. Uh, shall we proceed to the record shop? <sighs> Women are in a nature setting to be conquered, dude. Shall we shall? Let us shall. Toy and sports. Oh, this is Rory's workplace. Anything in this dumpster? Sorry, sorry, this trash can. Wait, is that it then? have this record it's called mystical ultima lp legend did you check the racks what we have is what we have oh yeah i, I did can you look in your computer or something fine G give me a minute okay this is three different characters that all look the same no we don't have it we have another store nearby They'll probably have it. They, they have more of a selection. <sighs> okay, thanks. If you wait for the bus outside, the first stop is a flagship store. Only a 15 minute ride. What is a flagship store? Just the, just the biggest, is it the biggest one or the first one? I think it was a deliberate choice because they they do have other character models. Like there was the black guy, they could have just used the black guy if they wanted to use different models. As we rode along the highway, I felt a sudden fondness for Rory and Michael. There's something fun about a little quest for this record. Far from my mind were the things that brought me here. Sammy's disappearance. The Rory seems like he'd be a big fan of, um, maybe like Armored Skeptic. Oh, she was probably still mad at me, fuming away at her arcade, taking out her anger at me on unsuspecting tweens. I wondered why she didn't want to. Someone who's like her. not great, but like, well, I don't know. Armored Skeptic's been getting worse lately. Is Sean Head not as bad? I wondered if she had some bad memories associated with it. Or if there was something about entities that I didn't know yet. My mind turned to Y2K. Could the world really end this year? Alex was a big pro Jared fan. You asked me six months ago. I'd have laughed at you. But now that I've seen so much strange. No, I don't think that anyone here would would be a fan of uh, would be a fan of geeks and gamers. They're all SJW. Well, they're all like. They're all cucks. Rory watches. Yes, Rory would absolutely watch The Amazing Atheist. The ones that are like a step up from the really bad ones, but they're still not great. Love the look of this town. Oh, look at this pastel. Look, it's all pastel y. I love this. So pretty. Mm. 
Love that. Hot take, every character in this game is a gamer 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 gator. <gasps> What's that over there? Oh <gasps> it's old blighty! Oh Here's here's to a good Brexit, everybody. Here's to a good Brexit, eh? Hope you're all enjoying your having a good old Brexit. <laughs> LGBT flag, that's cool. I guess that's just the gay pride flag. Although, wait, is the rainbow flag used as a general LGBT flag at this point, or is it still mostly just a homosexual homosexuality one, a gay pride thing specifically? A general LGBT flag. Yeah. Is that something that people don't like or do like? I could see that as seeming a little bit erasure, a little bit like erasure of. Uh... Oh, collectible bog. Ha uh, ha! It's Super Mario. <laughs> I love Super Mario. It's a big fucking car. Holy shit! Oh, what's what does Rory have equipped? Actually, Alec, you're kind of falling down on the old HB, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you uh, do that cow the cowboy hat. Yeah, bring you up to speed with everyone else. What's this? Two speed, two lock, two strength, two. Well, they don't need. You don't need any strength, really, right? Because you don't really attack anything. Speed might be good. I'll leave you what you got. Actually, you don't need luck either. So. Let's buy some sports equipment. Flip flops and hmm. Nothing really blowing my socks off over here. A sweatband? Just some extra pee pee. Hey, nothing really here I want. Later, dude. Oh, hey. Viewer jump there. Hello, everyone. Hello, new viewers. I hope you're all having a great Brexit. Burning you and Jack. What the fuck? Hey man, uh, I'm looking for this record. Probably never filmed it. 
It's called Mystical Ultima LP Legend. Uh, I have the jacket, but I'm missing the record. Do, do you come from the internet? Are you from Onism 1999? What? Yeah, I mean, I go on there, but how did you know? I'm guessing it wasn't you who posted, Dan. Was it? And haven't you checked the forums today? Somebody posted a photo of this record jacket, and they've been asking people if they have a copy. They said it had something to do with Semi Park's disappearance. How do you know about Semi? Is it Semi Pack? <laughs> I go on the forum too, obviously. Yeah, I've been following Semi's story for a while. But aren't you the guy who posted the photos of her last known location? I am, but... Wow, it's just... I had no idea anyone around here even knew about Semi. I'm just shocked. Nice to meet you, man. I'm glad. Ah! Nice to meet you, man. I'm Claudio. I'm Alex. This is Michael. He's the one who took the photos. And this guy here is Rory. He also works on Honism. Hi, great. Uh, so you're looking for mystical LP, huh? Well, sorry, we don't got it. But I do know where you can get it. It's going to sound a bit odd. Hell, you know what? I'll come with you. I own this stupid place. That's fine, Nagin. Whatever I want. Yeah, we're down. Where do we go? There's this old guy. He's on a mountain south of here. He's a real chill guy. A bit out there, but he's got the biggest record collection on the East Coast. He's bound to have it. Let me, let me just grab my sister. Indigo the Raptor, thank you very much for the subscription, pal. Mwah! Chandra, come here a minute. What's up, Claudio? I like their aesthetics. I'm gonna run the mocks for a bit. You wanna come with us? Yeah, hold on. Let me get James to watch the front. So, how do we get there? It's a bit of a hike, but it's a nice walk. I just want to point out. Just a tiny thing. Don't it might not be anything to it, but this is the first female character Alex has met that he hasn't immediately gone. Oh my god! I, f I felt such a strong connection to her. There's some racial coding going on here. Head to the mountain south of here. I guess Alex has a, a tie. Hey, new friends. What you guys got? So by default, he has the weapon that I could that I that allowed me to purchase. Yep. Okay. So it was entirely po pointless for me to buy those. Why did the game let me buy the default items for those characters if they were gonna start with them anyway? Whatever. Whatever. I don't really know what their what their skills or whatever. Bushido, why the warrior move fast to unleash hidden skills? Okay. Single item. Heavy damage with basic attack to target the cost of HP, PB, and a, and a member of the party. Wait, at the cost of HP, PB, and a, and a so you have to sacrifice someone to use that ability. Heavy damage of some HP, PP. So you just need HP and PP, really. So can I just give you some HP and PP boosts? Is there anything I can give you for that? Mm, maybe not. Right. Oh, well, you need to be fast, right? Isn't that your whole thing? So... Who's got the... you got defense of 19. She's got a defense of 18, so I guess you can have that. You can have hook hands. And... You 
you can have that. And I don't have a shirt for you right now, but whatever. Hey, bro. Now, do you have anything for me? No, you do not. Alright, off we go. So now we need to go... Are we taking the bus again? I believe so. Oh wait, hang on. Can I level these guys up? No. They start at level 16. Do a quick save, and then we can go to the, the next place. Such an engaging fetch quest we've been on today. Oh wait, where are we going? Sorry. Sorry, I missed that part. Travel to Mount Town to look for mystical... Where is Mount Town from here? Wookdonald's over here. Ah, oh, can we not go to Wookdonald's? Alright, let's see what these people can do. Uh, I guess protect Alex. Alex! Photo shoot time. Oh shit. That was nice. Oh, whoa, okay. I guess we aren't seeing what they did yet. What the, or what those other guys can do yet. really vague on which roads you can go across and which you can't. It's like, I can cross... Oh, you can only go across the crossings. Okay, that makes sense. There we go. Oh, it's just this. I'll take a soda. Thank you. Seven dollars for fountain soda. Better have free refills on that. Actually, holy fuck, I love the aesthetic of this room. This looks cool. Put Chandra in? We already have Chandra in our party. Can I move them around so that they get to attack first? Oh, order I. Okay, gotcha. So, actually, we should probably start with Rory, because then Rory can protect someone. Uh, and then we can go with Chandra after that. And then Alex after that. And then we'll leave Michael last. Oh, only four members can be about. Okay, okay, I got you. Oh, well, in that case, fucking fuck you. Fuck off, Rory. <laughs> Sorry, Rory. I'm sure you're good in specific circumstances, but... No thanks.
Actually, let's check if that, that grinding thing real quick. Rory's a cool dude. I don't have anything against Rory as a person. But, I mean... I don't need a guy that can't fight and can only, like, protect one random person who's probably not even going to get attacked. Like, maybe if I could know for a fact that that party member was going to be attacked, like, he could do some kind of aggro ability, but that isn't how it works, so basically it just ends up being a situation where um, Rory's protecting someone that never actually gets hit. Yeah, he doesn't even buff people up. Like, a support character can definitely work, in theory, um, but it doesn't really work here. Okay, we're going to go through a cave so we can go hang out with Mark. So there's a big old, there's a rock star that probably has our LP and he's at the top of the mountain. So we have to take the cave path if we want to do that. What's up, old lady? My son, son, my son ran off into the cave after reading some online message board. He went to find a ghoul. May not be successful like his brother, but he sure has heart. Okay. Hmm. Gender coded outside restrooms. I'm not. I've never seen that before. Usually, if there's like a porta potty, then it will be just like. Mixed genders thing, which you know doesn't really make a difference. Ooh, spooky Halloween house. Are you looking for the music collector? He lives on the top of the mountain. Be careful though; he works hard to avoid unworthy guests. Nice. How about you, friend? All these smelly teens came suddenly last night. They're here looking for some sort of ghost girl. They won't find her. She isn't real. It's just a hoax. Okay. I like how the chests are different color here. Churches do that. Churches gender the porta potties. Fantastic. To the caves we go! Onward and upward. I, I was thinking of setting up the uh, water bot that some streams have, where it tells you every like 30 minutes or so, like by now you should have drunk at least this much water based on how long you've been watching the stream. Because there is a weird thing with watching streams where you can like forget basic life function things, <laughs> like the need to eat or drink anything, and then you can end up watching a stream for like four hours and not drinking any water the whole time. So this is my message to you folks, to drink water. trick is throwing a cat at it. Hmm. Throwing a panda at it. The trick is using a hair whip. Whoa! Holy fuck. That is like the loudest thunder strike I've ever heard. Did you guys hear that? Hey. 
One of you said no and one of you said yes, so one of you's lying. Thunder! Oh! <gasps> We've got some spaghetti, folks! I hope it's from my mom. Where's that spaghetti? Classic long saucy noodles. Beautiful. Thank you very much for the follow, Zengor. Mwah. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Oh wait, I can use the cat for that, right? Alright, let's see Chandra in action then. She's so cool. Jesus Christ, why are they all going after her? So what's this? So Hula Stance, light attack with Wild Stance which costs some PP or heavy strong stance which costs some HP. Okay. So first of all let's try out Hula Stance. Oh, okay. So it doesn't actually do anything, it just changes the stance you're in. Bushido, go for it. Eat that poo poo. So it's Fruit Ninja. I guess we're gonna drive to the restaurant today. The rain like this. We we're gonna walk, but I suppose not. Let's try that EP thing. Standard attack then? Oh. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that mini game. I hate that mini game so much. I hate it so much. Okay. I might need to not use Chandra just on the basis that I truly despise that minigame so much. <laughs> One awkward thing. Hmm. 
Okay. So don't walk through the don't walk through the purple stuff because it poisons you. Oh. I need to get to that, those stairs, so I guess I've got no choice. Is there not like a heal to all yet? Ah! Stop sign man! Time for my ultimate attack. I do spam the button in that mini game. It, so the you might be thinking, yeah. oh, he's not spamming the button because it's only like it's not um, consistently throwing the disc out. No, that's just how the game works. Yeah, in LP toss. Yeah. Yep, that's just how it's it's just very inconsistent with how often it throws out the discs. Eat, eat up some HP items. Got anything that isn't that good? We can use that cheese. Turkey sandwiches. Oh, 27 HP. Okay. I have less healing items than I thought I did. Hmm. That'll do. Are you a g, -g, -g ghost All this ghost hunting has really revived the spark in our relationship. Yeah, why isn't that like a punk character? That would, that would make sense in the 90s if there was a character who was like a punk. Instead of like hipsters and scene kids. Is there something right behind me?
Yeah, this is me spamming this uh, the 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 disc thing as hard as I can. So I'm pretty sure there's just a limit on how often you can hit the button. Like how many, sorry, how many discs has to be on screen. So if you don't hit anything, it takes longer. Like spread item. Hmm, spread item effect across party. That's interesting. I need to know. My mind's telling me no. Okay, I can't do that. Uh, I can't afford the HP loss from going to over to that. strange about this rock. Hmm. I guess it's just not quite on the right plane. Oh well. Hmm. Fight! <laughs> I do like the traffic cone monsters. I don't really like Chandra. Not as a I don't dislike her as a character, but that specific ability I'm finding really obnoxious. Yeah, so the thing about it being a postmodern RPG is it's like not really, it's actually less postmodern mechanically than like Undertale is. Because mechanically it's a very standard RPG in many ways so far. Like, yes, it has Mario and Luigi style mini games, which I guess isn't completely common to have in, uh, J in JRPGs. But like, I don't know, that doesn't feel like a deconstruction or a subversion of RPG mechanics. Um, again, reserving judgment until we get further in. 
Shadow Hearts? Yeah, I'm not too familiar with Shadow Hearts. Well, so when I when I hear something described as postmodern, what I usually think of is something that is deconstructing its medium or genre in some way. Like, ah, oh, mimics. Ah, oh, the most the most subversive trope, mimics. Just gave him more HP and his whatever. to dodge it away, I guess. Yeah, if you miss that first red, then Alex is kind of sure. Try this again then. I'm gonna make you look so good. No, it was out, so you're supposed to take a bad photo of them, but if you take a picture that's out of focus, then it doesn't count as a bad shot, I guess. So it's just random? I d it's almost like this game's obfuscating things. It makes it harder to understand the mechanics of what you're even doing. I guess it has a face that it won't like and then if you take a picture of that you're doing a face it doesn't like it will lose health I'll take a picture in the manhole. Alright, 
one I'm more try. You so, so you pose them and then take a picture Say as they're cheese. posing? Say cheese. Oh. Okay, there you go. And it did about the same amount of damage as a regular attack would do. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, this game is very much like learn as you go with the mechanics. It's just it'll throw a character at you or throw an ability at you and it's like, okay, figure it out. I'm gonna call it after I get to the next safe point. At the place? No, no, meet up at six. Oh, upstairs? Okay, gotcha. That's fine. The thing with Undertale is Undertale does often throw like random mechanics at you, but then it allows you to like, because things are consistent enough, like the language is there to where it's like, okay, I get it. I get what's going on. Whereas this will just throw a completely new style of minigame at you and be like, okay, figure it out now. It's really annoying. And I guess I have to walk through poisonous acid. I can't not do that. Yeah, I guess I have no choice but to go through this poisonous acid. Hope I don't die. This is a fun mechanic. There's a lot of things about this game that could be good. Um. I can't tell whether that's just the game not... Okay. Uh... Nope. Well, that was cool. Losing my patience with this game, I gotta be a little bit honest. Like, it feels like they used 
the aesthetic of it being a subversive take on the genre as a way of getting around the fact that there were a lot of mechanical elements that just didn't really work. And again, that's without having completed the game, but that's the sense I'm getting. Uh, so I do have to drop down here? Because, like, I can clearly see the cat here. Like... I don't really know what's... Does anyone know what I'm supposed to do here? I just wanna fucking move on! <laughs> I know what I'm supposed to do. I know. I know what we can do. I know what we can do. Can't shut up. Shut up. I can do this. And I require silence in this moment. Because you ready for this? Bam! Didn't think of that, did you? Didn't think of that. No, now you did. Which obviously works. Doesn't work the other way because, you know, it's a totally different plane. Oh, wait, is it, it's on the exact same plane? Oh, that's so weird. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna shit. Am I gonna lose my sponsorship by the the team that the developers of this game? Great. Now I have uh. Now I have a bridge I can use to go back to the place I started from. Uh. So that's cool. I also have. Almost no health, and no healing items. Oopsie. Look at that! We did it, guys! We made it back to the place we were before. I, I know. I know. We got those chests, I guess? There were those chests over up there that we were able to get. So I guess I do need to walk through this poison. Oh, can you not go below 1 HP? Okay. Yeah, you can only go down to 1 HP. Hey, save point. Okay, well we have 1 HP, and, but we're at the end of the cave. Uh, and that is my cue, I think. So like I say, this wasn't going to be a long stream because I do have to go out for dinner now. But thank you for hanging out, folks. I'll be back streaming uh, definitely during the week. Uh, maybe even tonight, depending on how soon we get back from the restaurant. But probably not tonight. Um, but thank you for joining me very much, folks. Um, Fuck this piece of shit. Anyway. Love you all. Stay safe. Uh, have a great day. Don't wait, wait, shit.
Wait, wait, before I, before I stop, don't leave yet. In case any of you are bored um, and want to, like, watch something, let me just check real quick if there's anyone worth raiding. Uh, sure, let's raid this guy. I think this guy's like a video essayist. So, if you want, you can hang out with this guy. Talk, talk about video games with this guy, who seems okay, I don't know. Later, folks.